Jake, I need you to come with me. Uh, sure, Dad. What's going on? Look, I need you to stay calm. Uh, I don't know how to tell you this, but you have a twin. What? Whoa, what's going on? Why does this guy look exactly like me? Yeah, who is this guy? This is your twin. Why would you keep this secret from me? Jake, I know you're starting to freak out. Just take a deep breath. No, I can't. I need some fresh air. Where do you think you're going? There's a storm out there. Huh, man. Huh. Whoa, hey, dude, take it easy, man. I just can't, Max. My entire life has been a lie. Yo, I got your text. You never knew you had a twin? Yeah, just an hour ago, I thought I was the only child. Now I have a twin brother. I don't know what's happening. Seems like some weird conspiracy stuff, dude. Like a clone of you. Appears out of nowhere. Shut up, dude. I'm just trying to lighten the mood, man. Everything's gonna be all right. Well, there you are. Jake, you've gotta come home, okay? You stay out here too long, you'll catch a cold. Leave me alone, Dad. I don't even wanna look at you right now. You need to stop acting so childish and get in the car. We're going home. Fine. Excuse me, Blake, what are you doing in my room? Throwing out all this trash. What does it look like I'm doing? That's my stuff. What do you mean? Why are you even in here? Well, this is my room now. No, it's not. It's mine. I already talked to your dad about it. I'm not used to having my own room, so he let me choose, and I chose this one. This is mine. I, it's been here my whole life. Your dad said you can move into the guest room. What are you going to do about it, huh? I'll tell you what I'm going to do about it. Hey, 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 cut it out. Cut it out. He's the one that started it. Dad, you need to explain what's going on. Look, I know a lot is happening for the two of you right now, okay? Paul is still waiting downstairs, and we still have a lot to talk about. Why did you completely abandon me? I didn't abandon you. It was shortly after you were both born. We had lost your mother, and I was a single father raising two twin boys. And then, a tornado hit. Completely tore the town apart, as well as our house. When I came to it, half the house was gone, as well as you, Blake. I found Jake, and I looked everywhere for you, but you were gone. And that's where my part of the story comes in. After the storm, I was walking past the house and I found Blake just sitting there crying. So I took him in. I've been raising him with other foster kids since. But eventually, I found out that Blake's family was still here. And that's when Paul reached out to me and I found out Blake was alive. I thought after all those years you were gone, it still blows my mind that you're here today. How could you not have just told me? I thought I knew what was right, but clearly I was wrong. I'm sorry, boys. Now we're just stuck together? I have a twin brother? Look, Blake, he's your brother. Your family. You gotta learn to get along with him, okay? Look, you boys need to go and get some sleep. Blake, you'll be starting school with Jake tomorrow, so you'll need some rest. All right, so that's the entire school. Can't believe you go here. This place sucks. It's not that bad, man. Look, I need to get my books from my locker. Oh, this is your locker, huh? Well, look at how stupid it is now. Blake, what the heck are you doing? You are super annoying, and I want to show you how annoying you are. Yeah, well, you're being a jerk, and I've had it. Whoa, fight, fight, fight. Yeah, the twins are going to fight. I can't tell them apart. I got my money on that one. What is going on over here? Principal Garnet. Uh, nothing, nothing going on? They were gonna fight. Oh, gonna fight, huh? Well, you two just earned yourself detention. Hope you enjoy staying late after school. <sighs> Blake, what is your problem? Looks like we have the same problem. We don't want each other in our lives. <sighs> just leave me alone. Hey, Jake, can we talk for a second? Ugh, what do you want, Blake? You want fine. Just, just forget it. No, no, I'm sorry. You clearly have something to say, so what is it? Well, I was wondering if I could borrow some money for lunch. I don't really have any, and I'm super hungry. You don't have any money? What gives, man? Dude, I was raised in a foster family. I don't have a job. It just is the way it is. You know what? I'll give you some money if you apologize for earlier. What? Fine. All right. I'm sorry. Okay, great. Here you go. Here's some money for lunch. All right, thanks. Oh, man, I'm so hungry. I could probably eat everything they have. Did you want to sit with me at lunch? Yeah, sure. Beat sitting alone in the bathroom. It's just awkward asking people to have lunch with them. Well, come on. Let's go eat lunch together. Oh my gosh, look. Now there's two Jakes? This is awful. Devin, what do you want? Everybody's talking about how all of a sudden you now have a twin. Now there's two of you. Everyone was sick of Jake before, and now he's doubled. Well, you don't have to worry. I'm nothing like Jake. I think he's stupid, just like you guys. Here you go, Jake. Here's some food. Ah, uh, what? Hey! Yo, you're actually way cooler than Jake. Yeah, I know. It just comes with the territory. Hey, you want to come eat lunch with us? I sit with the popular kids in the football team. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Get me away from this loser. Jake, 
Dude, you've never got detention in your life, man. What happened? It's all Blake's fault. He's just being the worst, Max. Have you tried to, like, talk to him at least? Like, get to know him or anything? Why would I want to do that? He always bullies me. Well, maybe you need to connect with him in his own way, you know? No one ever wants the same. Yeah, well, getting bullied isn't the way to go about it. Yeah, you're absolutely right. What he did was wrong. Maybe he'll stop eventually, man. I don't know. I don't think there's any stopping this. He just seems like he hates me. I think you just need to give him a chance, man. I mean, he's your twin. Literally, you two should have the most in common out of anybody in the world, man. Just give him a chance. He is your brother now. You know, Max, I think you're right. Dude, Max is always right. What are you doing in my room? I'm just trying to talk to you, man. Do you have a second? <sighs> yeah, fine. Sure. What do you want? Well, dude, you're my twin. I just want to try to get closer to you, but I can't do it if you keep bullying me. I just want to work something out. Look, you and I are in the same position, okay? I never knew you existed. I didn't know anything about my real family. Do you have any idea how hard that is? Just finding all of this stuff out now? No, oh, I do know. I think you and I are the only two people in the whole world that can understand this. I'm used to being on my own and doing my own thing, okay? I don't really know how to be with family. Look, I'm sorry I was acting like a jerk, all right? Just emotional and I wasn't thinking straight. I get it. Apology accepted. So, can we start over? Yeah, of course. How about I make us some mac and cheese to celebrate? Yeah, sure, that sounds good. Maybe this wasn't a bad idea after all. Maybe it'll be fun being brothers, huh? Yeah, it'll be so much fun! Ah! Ow! <laughs> wow, you actually fell for all of that. Incredible. <sighs> Can't believe it. You know what? I thought we were alike, but I guess not. Yeah, guess not. All right, boys, come outside. Jake, Blake, come on. Dad, what is it? It's five o'clock in the morning. I was sleeping. Well, the early bird catches the worm. We're going camping today. Camping? You've got to be joking. No, this is a great opportunity for you boys. Chance for you to bond. Dad, I don't want to go anywhere with Blake, especially not camping. And I couldn't agree more. I don't want to be anywhere near this loser. Finally, something we can both agree on. Well, I don't usually like agreeing with losers. All right, all right, enough, okay? This is what I'm talking about. It's fighting. I can't have it anymore. This decision is final. We are going to the lake and we're going to go camping. Well, we haven't been up here in years. Still looks the same. It's as beautiful as ever. Well, I better go get all my stuff. Wait, where is my stuff? I packed a bag. Where is it? Oh, that bag? Yeah, it was taking up way too much room, so I left it behind. You left behind all of my stuff for the trip? Uh, Blake? What? I didn't know it was a big deal. All right, hey, hey, hey. We just got here, all right? Keep a lid on it. We got plenty of extra stuff for you, Jake. You'll be fine. Now, we're gonna go fishing and we're gonna have fun. Right, boys? <sighs> right, Dad. Whatever. Jake, do you see that? I think it's a shark. Huh? Where? Really? Ah! Boys, I've had enough of you. I've had enough of you too. I've had enough of all this fighting. Stop it. Stop it right now. Well, that was a complete and total bust. I thought this trip would bring you two together, but you guys were doing nothing but fight the whole time. Yeah, Dad, that was honestly a terrible idea. I don't know. I kind of had fun. Well, at least somebody had fun. Uh, I need to go make myself a coffee. So, Blake, was the trip fun because you tortured me the whole time? Well, after I slapped you with that fish we caught, I thought that was kind of fun. You've been nothing but a pain to be around, Blake. I hope you know that. Well, I hope you know it also goes the same for you. You have no idea how to have fun. What was fun for me was not knowing that I had a twin in the first place and just living my life. I wish I never met you. Well, you know, I feel the exact same way. Maybe I should just leave. It's clear that I don't belong here. That's right. You don't. You should leave. Well, I would say it was fun, but it wasn't fun. Good day to you, sir. <sighs> Finally, he's gone. Hey, Jake, I'm about to start dinner. Where's your brother? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Well, he's gone, Dad. He left, and hopefully for good. Gone? Where did he go? Ran off into the city. He said he didn't belong here, and I agreed with him. You did what? Do you have any idea how selfish you sound right now, Jacob? So what? All he did was cause me pain and suffering. Blake's whole life was a lot of pain and suffering. He had no idea he had a family. He's not used to having people care about him. Imagine your life without me. I never even thought about it like that. Exactly. You didn't think about it. Oh, man. Dad, I think I messed up. Big time, kiddo. Big time. 
never needed them before. I don't need them now, stupid Jake. I'll just be on my own, like I always was. Blake! Oh, there you are, I finally found you. I'm sorry, do I know you? Blake, come on, just cut it out. I need to talk to you. What else do you have to say, Jake? Well, I have to say that I'm sorry. You're sorry, really? Yeah, I am sorry. You're family, and I should have been treating you like that. Honestly, Jake, you had every right to treat me the way you did. I am being a jerk, and I know it. But that's because I've never really had anybody. Sure, Paul did his best, but he also had like 10 foster kids. My life wasn't easy. Growing up without my family, I don't like getting close to anybody because I end up losing them. Well, Blake, that isn't the way to go about this. Come on, you should come back home. It just feels weird, okay? And I don't know what to do. We'll talk about it later. We can work through it together. We're twins. Wait, oh, oh, I know that sound. That's a tornado siren. What do we do? What do we do? I gotta find somewhere to go. No, Blake, don't run away now. Oh, man, look at those clouds. A tornado might actually be coming this time. I've got to find Blake. Oh, he's not over here. Where could he possibly be? Oh, there he is. Blake, come on, we've got to go home. No, no, I'm not going anywhere. Why not? We have to go to safety. You guys are safer without me. What the heck is that supposed to mean? A tornado tore us apart last time, and I don't want it to happen again. Just go, okay? Just go. Blake, me and Dad aren't going anywhere. You'll never lose us again. Come on. Boys, boys, there you are. And I was getting so worried about you guys. Now come on, let's go home.